released in 1966, number 271 in the imprint series is Dead Heat on a Merry Go Round. Now, it's got James Coburn, which is always good. It's a kind of con movie of sort, or it feels as if that's what it's been sold as. And it was kind of a fun movie. A little bit forgettable in parts, but ultimately one of those um, interesting ones that's driven by a fantastic lead performance. And it's one of those movies that just highlights how wonderful James Coburn really was. He has that charm, he has that huge, big, infectious smile that just puts everyone to ease. And as we are introduced to Eli Koch, his character in this one, he's in jail, but he'll be getting out soon not in the typical way because he's planning to escape and as soon as he's out he puts it into motion a series of various crimes building towards something grander just tell that fat brother-in-law of yours to expect me in los angeles in about two weeks and this is the kind of idea of the movie and it feels a little bit all over the place at the start because we start to follow this character and he's seemingly just eking through life, picking up people, kind of conning them, stealing, moving on, and it doesn't seem to be a grander plan. There is, but for that beginning of the movie, it feels almost aimless. But it's not forgettable, because we do have Coburn, who is magnetic as our lead character, Eli Koch, a character who is, in any other person's hands, reprehensible. But here, there's a charm. There's a, an easygoing nature to the character as he wines and dines everybody, as he tees them up and uh, robs them blind, which uh, can be quite fun in certain sequences, especially um, with some of the people who he is interacting with giving statements to the police, which are obviously fabricated. There's a fun one after he's stolen a, a painting and some other things where the woman is very delicately trying not to allude to the fact that uh, she may have been a little bit more personable and uh, got to know Eli Koch a little bit too much uh, and left herself wide open for this theft, which is really kind of fun. Anything that might lead to identifying him. When it gets to the second half of the movie is when we get to the big grandiose idea of this. What exactly is going on? Why has he collected this ragtag group of people to help him out on this mission? And it becomes a little bit more straightforward in its storytelling. Definitely exciting and a fun kind of heist movie. The problem is, it's kind of like Ocean's Eleven, but where the only interesting character would be Ocean, that's like this one. The, the surrounding characters here aren't that engaging, they aren't that much uh, interesting or fun or they add to the storyline or the plot much. They, they're there, they're perfunctory, but they don't jump off the screen the way that Coburn does. If we had a group of characters that um, matched Coburn, this would have been a wonderful movie. It has some fun comedic moments uh, built in around it as well and the heist is rather interesting but it just seems to be lacking that cohesion of a, a great group of characters coming together to take down uh, someone who we want to see fall foul of this uh, group. There's one thing that worries me about this bank. He's only got one entrance and it's right in the middle of the airport. In this case it's an advantage, believe me. Um, we get Inger Knudsen as a kind of love interest in this one played by Camilla Sparv. She is really kind of wonderful. How she falls for this character that Eli Koch is playing um, and leads to a rather interesting final moment in the film which I really did kind of like uh, because this character he is very much a user. Like I said, he's not the nicest person because of the way Coburn portrays him, becomes someone that we genuinely want to see succeed. But this little B story that's going on here has a nice little sting in the tail, which I really appreciated and I felt left on a good mark for me. You have to admit that since we disagree on everything, we've got a lot in common. I hate to go out with anyone who agrees with me. It makes such a dull evening. This is another one of those bare bones discs with nothing else on it other than the movie, which is a real shame 
Uh, it must be something to do with licensing because surely there could have been a bunch of extras put on this just to highlight uh, how great it is. But you do get the movie. It is incredibly funny and fun and a, an interesting idea. I don't think it works completely. It never quite gets there to like fantastic status. It's merely uh, decent. Not a bad thing to say about a movie, but hey, if you're a fan of Coburn and you haven't seen it, I would suggest checking this one out. I would love to know your thoughts on Dead Heat on a Medical Ground, so let me know in the comment box below whether you love it, hate it, feel somewhere in the middle, haven't seen it, want to see it. I'm curious about all these kind of things. As always, there is more content up here where you can see more of my stuff if you're interested. And in the description box below are links to Patreon, membership program, manbfilm.com. Always in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.